Good evening everyone and welcome to our elections results night for 2021. This year was the first for the Student Union as we hosted our elections completely online due to the ongoing situation with the pandemic and tonight's results are also brought to you in a very different format and we thank you for joining us this evening. To all of our candidates, putting yourself up before your peers is a courageous thing and for that and their ideas each and every one of you deserves our admiration and a huge round of applause, albeit virtually. Now to the results. First up, we have the student trustee election. We have one candidate standing for the three available positions. Katie Jedrek was elected in the first round of voting. Congratulations to Katie. Next up, we have the NUS delegate election. We have one candidate standing for the two positions available. Mohammed Mahun was duly elected. Next up, we have the Executive Officer elections. There were four of the eight available Executive Officer positions up for election, and there were four candidates across these. The winners are as follows. International Students Officer, Emily Block. LGBT Plus Students Officer, Owen Denston. Part-time Students Officer, Julie Stuexu. And Mature Students Officer, Amy Pyle. We now move to the three sabbatical elections and we start first with the Vice President Education and Welfare election. There were three candidates in this election, Natasha Neal, B. Bearfield and Ron or reopen the nominations. A total of 308 valid votes were cast. The quota to be elected was 154 and in the first round of voting the results were as follows. Ron, 8. Natasha Neal, 163, B. Bearfield, 137. Having received more than 154 votes as per the quota, Natasha Neal was therefore duly elected as your Vice President Education and Welfare for 2021-22. Congratulations to Natasha. We then move to our Vice President Student Involvement election. There were five candidates in this election, Alicia Chester, Alicia Hicks, Mackenzie Hoey, Tom Featherstone and Ron. A total of 313 valid votes were cast. The quota to be elected was 156.5 and in the first round of voting the results were as follows. Alicia 54, Tom Featherstone 151, Alicia 68, Mackenzie 86, Ron 4. As no one reached the quota in the first round this meant we moved to a second round. Alicia and Ron were eliminated at this stage, having not received enough votes, and their votes transferred to the remaining candidates. In the second round of voting, there were 262 valid votes cast, and the reduced quota in which to be elected now stood at 131, and the results were as follows. Tom Featherstone, 102, Alicia Hicks, 71, Mackenzie Hoey, 89. With none of the candidates still reaching the quota to be elected, this meant we moved to a third round of voting. Alicia Hicks was eliminated at this stage, having received the lowest number of votes, and her votes were transferred to the remaining candidates. In the third round of voting, there were 205 valid votes cast, and the new quota stood at 102.5. The results were as follows. Tom Featherstone, 107. Mackenzie Hoey, 98. Having received more than 102.5 votes as per the quota, Tom Featherstone was duly elected as your Vice President Student Involvement for 2021-22. Congratulations to Tom. Finally, we finished with the presidential election in what was our tightest election for several years. We had three candidates, Tamsin Granger, Honor Fletcher and reopen the nominations or Ron. A total of 310 valid votes were cast in the presidential election. The quota to be elected was 155, and in the first round of voting, the results were as follows. Honor, 155. Tamsin, 148. Ron, 7. However, while Honor had hit the quota, Ron had received 7 votes, and Tamsin was only 7 votes behind. Therefore, there was still the possibility of a tie once Ron's votes had been transferred, which would have resulted in the need for a coin toss to decide the election. When Ron's votes were transferred to the remaining candidates, five ballots became spoiled, meaning the final results were as follows. Honour, 
155, Tamsin 150. Honor Fletcher was therefore duly elected as your new president for 2021-22 and congratulations to Honor. We still have some exciting leadership positions available within the Students' Union and we will be holding by-elections for these shortly. Please keep an eye out for these on our website and via our communications and you can also contact a member of the team at surepresentation at bucks.ac.uk to find out more. Enjoy the rest of your evening.